Hey guys, okay, take two on food planning. So, um, it is Friday. My food planning for the next week, it usually starts on about Wednesday. Now, I don't wanna think about it every day, but my feeling is I can think about it on Wednesday, I can get a grocery list in Wednesday or Thursday, and then on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, I can start getting stuff together. So, the way I think about it is, is there anything I need from the grocery? I'm trying to limit myself to fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, ingredients for specific recipes, and almond milk, almond creamer. Because I have, my pantry has a ton of abundance in it right now, my freezers are very deep, my refrigerator less so, but I don't want to be in that, that I don't want to contribute to that 40% of groceries that just go in the trash and never get used. Um, I can still buy anything I want, but I have to use it. So I'll edge even on the smaller side or on the less side, just so I'm not wasting. So, typically the way I kind of look at it is, I look at starting with the meals. So easy to go by, okay, what am I going to have for breakfast? What does my week look like the next week? Next week, I go to work, but I don't go until Tuesday. If I'm at home, I'm gonna want bagels, I'm gonna want bread, both of which I already have. I've got, I'll want either hummus on it, already have it, um, avocados, already have it, peanut butter, already got, and bananas if I do the peanut butter. Put them on the list. Then, what other fruits do I need? I have a tendency to sort of front load my day with fruits and sweeter stuff, and then I go on to more savory. So, what other fruits am I gonna want? How about some mandarins? How about some apples? They went on the, the list. So really just those three things from a fruit standpoint. Um, Izzy is out there having a fight with a stick. Um, so, don't you love dogs? Don't you just love them? Lunches. Oh, uh, breakfast when I'm, I'm working. I'm only working three days next week. I already have groats made from last week. They'll be fine. Um, I've got walnuts and I've got some frozen fruit from last week that is still that is still in the freezer. I'll pull it out. We'll be golden. And lunches. Lunches. Thinking about doing a freezer stoop, which is sort of my version of what mom used to make, and hers was pulling out stuff from the freezer. Mine is more freezer, pantry, and pretty much any vegetable that you want. Then I'll add in lima beans for protein because that's one of the few places I love lima beans, but I love it. I will add maybe corn, usually canned. I will add um, potatoes because I really love potatoes in that dish and or that soup. Then I'll add a little TVP just because it mimics the ground beef that she used to use. But obviously I'm not gonna have ground beef. So, for dinner, planning on doing salads. So, grocery, I got romaine, green onions, cucumbers, tomatoes, and arugula pretty much my base, and then beans from the pantry, as well as rice, and a little dressing, and we're good. Um, the dressing I'm planning on making this week is going to be the Chef AJ's Barefoot dressing. Did get a couple of things for that dressing. I needed some more balsamic dressing as well as canned pears and I will do a video making it.
because I'm a little curious how this one's going to come out. I think it's going to be on the sweet savory side, which is usually something I really enjoy. So, but I figure that that will go over not only dressings, but I could also use it in like rice bean veggie bowls if I wanted to, something like that. Anyway, and then I'll have more fruit for dessert debating making some brownies there's a brownie recipe uh fork saver knives brownie recipe got all the ingredients debating making that and then the other thing i'm sort of debating making is some ice cream i've got frozen bananas i've got some frozen cherries and I'm kind of thinking about maybe throwing that together but it'll and then it calls for a little vanilla extract, maybe some plant milk, um, some almond extract, and you could probably throw some either dairy-free chocolate chips in it or cocoa nibs. And either one of those probably would mimic like a Ben and Jerry's Cherry's Garcia ice cream, something like that. But just something a little sweet at the end. So, that's about where I am. This is sort of how I go through my food planning for the next week, just to make sure I have what I need to on hand. Occasionally, I will go to the grocery more than once in a week. I try not to. Number one, you spend more money. And number two, you don't go through that exercise of well, what could I use instead of that in a recipe or, okay, I don't have any of that, what can I use instead? And even just something you're throwing together, what could I eat instead so that I don't go to the grocery? It will not only save money, but it will also decrease food waste. So that's where I am. And we kind of talked through what I'm gonna get done. Recipes that I'm gonna make are gonna be possibly brownies, possibly ice cream the dressing mess recipe, and that's gonna be where I've, I'm starting. I've got potatoes steaming. I've got rice cooking, just to make sure I have it on hand. From a bean standpoint, I may make up some beans from dried, but I'm probably just gonna use canned, just to make it easy, because there are some other things that I really wanna work on this weekend, and I don't wanna, you know, be figuring out things. Plus, I kind of want to get the volume of the freezer down. It's always a good thing. So anyway, I will see you guys in the next few days. We're going to make some stuff up and that's where we are. Bye. Oh, weight loss, 257.2 this morning. My goal is for it to stay where it is until the end of the week. I am making my goal, but I want it to stay where it is. It'll probably pop up a little tomorrow, then it'll probably pop down the next day. It's just sort of how it kind of works out, but 257.2 this morning. <laughs>